For what is tradition, I want to read this article by Maestro Samoji because very widely he pointed out that tradition is a Latin root of the word, the origin of the word itself means also betrayal, like traición, tradition, and traditio, what does it mean this word? It's very interesting, so check it out. Then it might be useful to take a look at exactly what a tradition is. Etymologically, the word comes from the Latin traditio, which means a passing on, a releasing of something older to something newer, a handing over, a heritage, a continuing. Extradit or extradite from the same root means a bringing back, but tradition also signifies a giving up, as in betrayal. Tradition, tradition. Same root. In fact, tradition and betrayal have the same root. The ancients had the sense that these are children of the same mother, as it were, and that we can distinguish one from the other mainly through the values we project onto each. So that's why Paco has the saying here. Most people talking about this traditional bluff, they don't even know what tradition is. Paco says here, I am living in Spain because the atmosphere is unbreathable for me. This he said right in 1977 after recording the, the Moraima album. This Al Moraima album is one of the most uh, important albums ever recorded. And here it says the prejudices, the Flamenco Orthodox people, the tradition. I don't like all that. I need fresh air. I need to work freely without the static purism that ties me up. The Orthodox, which is this so-called traditional fellows, have messed with me non-stop since I started to have success. And here in number four, he says, the purists want me to play the same things as always. They want me to play obsolete music without experimentation or improvisation. So here, right here is the definition of what Paco said, that if music does not have experimentation or improvisation, it is obsolete. So yes, falsetta playing is obsolete. And here is the original newspaper, which I will also put in the description of the scan of the newspaper link in the Spanish for those who want to see where he said all these things and how is it that well, he went to live to Mexico. In fact, he even died in Mexico for 35 years, almost 40 years he lived there. And there is a reason because of all this so-called traditional snobs, which now are also flourishing again. You will have an example of what is traditional flamenco. Boring stuff, right? So now look what 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 it is. What it is. Modern flamenco.
you see, it's to be noticed also that in this recording here there is no guitar. <laughs> Actually, and this is the magic of Paco de innovations. We have to respect tradition. Translation, please live in the past. <laughs> in the obsolete past, by the way. Because tradition doesn't mean one thing if it does not bring you value to your playing. All of these discourses are just inherited opinions. Someone said and someone said and someone said so much that people keep par keep parroting the stuff. Only without even knowing what tradition is. Tradition means from, from the from the word traditio, which means to pass on or also betrayal, traición, tradition. This is the same root. So people don't know what tradition is really. And this tradition, if it is creating asphyxia of the players, it doesn't bring any value. Traditional things, we have to be very careful, first of all, to know what tradition is and what is presented as tradition to court tailor, to take away your freedom in composing or in the kind of instruments you use. We have seen many times how this history repeats. For instance, Francisco Simplicio in the 1920s, when he created this separation of bases, trails, etc., it was not liked by the narrow-minded guys. Big mistake, now it's one million dollars. He made only nine guitars of those, of which there are maybe five playable museums in the Boston Museum of Instruments, Harrison Foundation, etc. So we have, this is Stradivarius really, but they did not appreciate it then because we're narrow-minded. So in the name of tradition, many wrong things were there happening. And the same happens with flamenco, so this tradition, what does it mean this tradition of flamenco? In fact, Paco said that uh, the world of music is, is, is a free world, we have to, to go for freedom. And if tradition limits that freedom, then we don't want to be this. This is the thing. So, therefore, we have to understand what is the meaning of tradition, what is the meaning of innovation, and where do you stand in order to be free? Because when we play, we want to be free. And that's why Paco advised that we should explore the territory of improvisation, because that is real freedom, and you get knowledge from exploring in that direction. So we never said, keep parroting the stuff and you get great. No, he didn't say that. Because then there is no difference, actually, between classical music or classical Spanish repertoire interpreting, interpreting that and flamenco guitar. So this is what the revolution Paco de Lucia brought to this style consists in, in all these things which free you when you are playing. And therefore, I would suggest, this is my humble opinion, <laughs> that you just ignore completely this empty statement that we have to respect tradition. Because even if that is true, in the real sense, most of the time these arguments are given to do away with challenging propositions, like Paco had a challenging thing to flamenco. He brought elements of improvisation, using all the instruments, etc. Things which, which were challenging to these traditional, narrow-minded guys. And therefore, they tried to make his life hellish. Right? And so much so that he has to live outside of Spain. He has to go away from his place to do what he did. You know? So, then therefore, we have to be very cautious about this tradition. tradition if it doesn't bring any value to your playing, for me it means nothing, really. This is what it is. Just like people are entitled to say their opinion, so here it goes mine. Tradition for me means zero, or minus zero. <laughs> nothing, really. It's a laughable statement, really. Why? Because if it takes away my freedom to play, to compose, to create, to do things like that, I don't want that. So that's all. And then, of course, you have to decide you what what does it mean for you and what do you feel comfortable? I don't feel, feel comfortable grabbed by chains 
in bars there, like in the jail of tradition, what you can do? Play three chords also now? Hello, this is 2017, we live in another time, right? So that's why Paco did this great job to break this barrier so that you can be free and play free, freely. Then your own personality can come out. Otherwise, you will be keep just parroting the, the parroting stuff of the parrot of the parrot of the parrot of the copy of the parrot that you don't know. Even it's parroting because you are so much inside of this thing that you don't know. And that is the falsetta playing. Falsetta playing is very limited. That is the difference between Bagalus' style and the traditional of the past. Past and future. This is one thing. That's why this is saying that that past. Uh, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it's gone. You should not be living in the past. But of course, spider webs and all that, <laughs> some people like them, so let them like them. But we, we are of other line. This line of Pacolus is that it's, it's only for people who want to live in the present and in the future. And it's a very bright future because it's a future with free music, with, with a free flamenco, with a new era in which you can be you and don't have to be adjusting yourself to the mold that tradition says you should be. So this is a very important thing and therefore if tradition is taking away your freedom, then give up that, that's a nonsense. It has zero value. Music is to search the soul and to search really who you are, so how you can be you if you are forced to do what the tradition wants you to do. <laughs> and that is, of course people may also like slavery, That's no, I have no problem with it. The only thing is that our position, because Paco was also fully convinced of this, that we knew, need to renew things and to create a new environment of freedom for the, for the best music in flamenco to come.